Hi guys, welcome to the second session of time and work revision series. I am your quantitative ability tutor Kasturi Sanam. Guys, in the past video in the revision session one, we saw really simple problems of it all. You haven't watched that video, please do watch it. I have provided the link in the description box. And now coming to the next video which is time and work revision session 2. So in this particular video, we are going to solve a bit tricky question than the first video. Most of the people find time and work really difficult. That is why I have included three revision sessions for this particular topic. And this topic again is very important as far as exams are concerned. So let us start with the first problem. In this particular video, we are going to cover five problems and each problem you have 90 seconds or 1.5 minutes to solve it. So let us begin. The first question is one man, three women and four children. So we are given one man, three women and four children can together do a job in 96 hours. Two men, eight children can complete the same job in 80 hours and two men and three women can complete the job in 120 hours. We are asked to find out in what time will 5 men and 14 children do the job together. So here in this particular question we have to find out the value of M and C. How to go ahead? Take the LCM of 96, 80 and 120. Whatever is the LCM, assume that that many units need to be covered, need to be made. So calculate uh, if at all I get the LCM as X, divide X with 96, whatever you get is the, is the number which comes here and similarly for the next two equations. I will help you with the solution in a short while after 90 seconds but right now use this 90 seconds to solve the problem on your own. So guys your time starts now I have given you little bit hints so please do use them and solve the problem. Okay guys, your 90 seconds time has ended. So let us see how to solve, how to deal with these kind of problems. So guys, here you are given three equations. You are given three conditions wherein different number of men, different number of women and different number of children together are taking X amount of time. And you are given three such situations. Whenever you have these kind of questions and this is one variation of the question, all you do is take the LCM of the number of hours. So here we have 96 LCM of 96, 80 and 120. We take the LCM of 96, 80 and 120. Now guys, if you don't know how to take LCM, please go back to our LCM revision session. But I hope till now everybody knows how to take a LCM. So here we get the LCM as 480. 
so my lcm comes out as 480 now what is given so assume that this 480 is the number of units that need to be prepared so these are the number of units that need to be prepared we know one man three women and four children together they can prepare 480 units in 96 hours so if i divide divide 480 by 96 i am going to get in 1 hour what is the number of units they all are making so when i divide 480 by 96 i get the answer as 5 so in 1 hour they are making 5 units i have taught this in the last session also always find out in 1 hour what is the value so the value of units comes out as 5 then i have two women and eight children take 80 hours to complete to make 480 units which means 480 divided by 80 comes out as 6 so in 1 hour they are going to make Six units, two women, two men, and eight children together in one hour. They are making six units. So all this, I am finding out the value in one hour. How many units can be done? How many units can be produced? Similarly, I have two men plus three women. So I have two men and three women. They are doing the job in one twenty hours, which means in one hour they are going to do four eighty divided by one twenty units, which comes out as four units. So, guys, all I have to do is solve the simultaneous equations, calculate, find the value of m and c, and get to the answer. So, now let us solve this together. Now, guys, if you simplify this equation, this particular equation, you have, you can divide this whole equation by two. So, you have m plus four c is equal to three, and we already have m plus four c here. so i am just going to substitute this value in this equation 1 this is my equation 1 this is 2 and this particular equation is 3 so i am just going to substitute the value of equation 2 in my equation number 1 so i get 3 plus 3 women equal to 5 so when i put this here i get the value of n which is nothing but 5 uh, 2 upon 3 sorry so it comes out as 2 upon 3 so i have got the value of my w now let us find out the value of m and c so that we can substitute it in this particular star equation Now let us substitute W in equation number three. So we get two n plus two equal to four. So I get the value of m as one. Now finally, let us find out the value of c. Let us substitute it here in this particular equation two. So I have one plus four c equal to three. so the value of my c comes out as 1 by 2 now let us substitute all these values here in this particular star equation so i have 5m which is 5 plus 14c which is 14 upon 2 which comes out as 7 so the value comes out as 12 what does this mean this means that in 1 hour five men and 14 children they are manufacturing 12 units please understand what is the implication of this number 12 it is not meaning that they are going to take 12 hours to do the job it just means that they are taking they are doing 12 units in one particular hour because everywhere we have got the values and all these values represent the amount of units produced in one hour similarly this 12 also is the amount of unit or the number of units that are produced in one hour so the answer here guys is not 12 most of the people make this mistake they point out the correct answer as 12 it is not 12 now i have to divide 480 by 12 in order to get the correct answer So when I divide 480 by 12, I get 480 divided by 12, which comes out as 40. So the correct answer, guys, 
they are going to take 40 hours to do this particular job. So, 5 men and 14 children are going to take 40 hours. I am sure most of you might have got 12 as an answer and you might have come to this particular step. And even after you, I teach you all these problems and how to go ahead with the problems. And if I give you a similar problem, I am sure 50% of you are going to end up getting this as the answer. But that is not the final answer. Please understand the concept of what is asked and what we are getting. So guys, let us go to the next question. 25 men can do a work in 10 days. And 20 children can do the same work in 50 days. After 10 days, how many children should be included so that the job gets completed in total 30 days if for the first 10 days they start with 5 men? So guys, in this particular question, we are given that 25 men, they can work in 10 days. So find out what is the work done by one man in one hour or in one day. Then find out what is the work done by one child in one day. So once you get that, then you can very well substitute it in this particular second statement and get the answer. So guys, your time starts now. Okay guys, so your 90 seconds time has ended and let us get to the solution. So guys, what we first find out is we are given 25 men in 10 days, they are doing the work in 50 days. In 10 days, sorry. And we are given that 20 children are doing the same work in 50 days. So find out how much time will, what is the amount of work that one man will do in one day. So how do you find out? You take the product reciprocal of the product of 25 and 10 which is 250. So one man in one day is going to do 1 upon 25 into 10 amount of work, correct? Similarly, one child in one day is going to do 1 upon 20 into 50 which comes out as 1 upon 1000 amount of work, 1 upon 1000 work in one day, one child. Now we are given that after 10 days, how many children should be included? Let us assume that the X children need to be included so that the job gets completed in 30 days. If I want my job to be completed in total 30 days, which means that in one day, I need 1 upon 30th of the job to be completed. If for the first 10 days, they start with 5 men. So, I divide my number of days, 30 days into 2. So, the first 10 days, I have 5 men working. And in the next days, in the next 20 days, so this is for the 10 days. In the next 20 days, I just have my ex-children who are working. 
so let us find out and they complete the job together in 30 days so now let us find out the value of x so we have five men who are working for 10 days so we have five, we have to multiply this by 5 5 into 10 upon 250 so this is the amount of work that is done in the first 10 days so this is the amount of work which is done by the by five guys five men in the first 10 days then i have to add x into 20 because these children are completing the work in 20 days because the total work has to be completed in 30 days so now there are 20 days remaining after 10 days have passed so x into 20 upon 1000 and all this is equal to 1 so let us solve this so i have 0 0 getting cancelled So the value of my x comes out as 40. So the correct answer is that you should have 40 children to do, do this particular work so that the job, the total job gets completed in 30 days. So guys let us go to the next problem. Three men can complete a work in one day while the same work is completed by 8 women in 3 4 days. The same work is done by 18 children in 1 and a half day. If 3 women and 3 children are engaged to do same work for 1 day, then how many men and for how many days are they employed to complete the work? So basically here we are given that 3 men can complete a work in 1 day. So find out one in 1 day one man will complete how much job then secondly we are given eight women can do it in three four days so find out in one day one woman will do how much job and one day one child will do how much of the job now we are given that three women and three children are engaged for one day so find out how much is the job which is done by three women and three children and also assume that there are x men who are also doing that job so total we have x men and they are working for t days so assume this value of t as the number of days that the to that these men are working and all this should be equal to 1 then find out the value of x and t so guys your 90 seconds time starts now i have given you very big hints i have told you how to solve this this problem i have given you the approach for this problem so i hope you guys can do it so start
Okay guys, your 90 seconds time has ended. Now let us solve this problem. So we have three men who can do the work in one. So in one day, one man can do one third of the work. Correct. Now we have eight women who are doing it in three by fourth day. So in one day, one woman is going to do one upon three into four. I am taking the reciprocal of three by four. And I divide this by 8. So this comes out as 1 upon 6. So in one day one woman is taking is doing 1 sixth of the work. Which means that there are 6 days required for one woman to do work. Or uh, there are 6 women which are required to do the work in one day. Now 18 children are doing it in half a day. So again when I solve it I get. 2 upon 18 which comes out as 1 upon 9. Now I have 3 women and 3 children who are working and they are doing the job for 1 day. So I am going to multiply my value of W by 3. So I get 1 upon 2. Again I am going to multiply my value of 1 day 1 C by 3 so I get 1 upon 3 and plus there are x men and they are working for t days and one man is doing the job in 3 days. So whole of this equals 1. So I have x t upon 3 is equal to 1 minus 5 upon 6. So x t upon 3 equals 1 upon 6 which means this equals 1 by 2. So xt is equal to 1 upon 2. So now the question asks how many men and for how many days are they required? So the value of my x is number of man. Can it be in decimals or fractions? No it cannot be. So the value of my x has to be 1. Or it has to be integers. But can the value of the number of days be in fractions? Yes, definitely. Here also we have a fractional value. So the value of my t comes out as half. Which means that I require one man to be working for half a day in order to complete the whole job. So the correct answer is one. the combination of one man and half day. You can have various combinations. You can have... Uh, two men and these two men they are working for say one fourth of the day. So whatever is the option accordingly you have to uh, click on the correct option. But this is the equation that you must get. So the last answer has to be this. I have deliberately not included the options because I know once I give the options then the guessing work starts and people just guess on. So I didn't want you all to guess. I wanted you all to solve. So I haven't given the options but the correct answer here is one man and he has to work for half a day or this equation x t equal to half. So let us solve the next problem guys. Three men, four women and six boys can together complete the work in seven days. Each woman is twice as efficient than each man and each boy is half efficient than the man. How many women together can complete the work in 7 days? So guys here we are given the efficiency, the ratio of efficiency. Now here we are given each woman is twice as efficient that of the man. So let us assume that the number of days this woman takes to complete the job is x. Now the number of days that the man is going to take to complete the job is going to be 2x because he is twice as, the woman is twice as efficient as that of the man and we know efficiency is inversely proportional to the time taken. So the man is going to take longer, he is going to take 2x days. Now the boy is half efficient that of the man so the boy is going to take 4x days to complete the job all by himself. Now we know how, what is the individual times. We are given that there are three men, four boys, four women, sorry, and six boys. And they are doing the job 
in seven days. So in one particular day, they are going to do one seventh of the job. You have the value of W, M, and B. All you need to do is you have to put it in this equation and you have to get the value of X. Then you have to find out how many women together can complete the work in seven days. So guys, your time starts now. Okay guys, your 90 minutes, 90 seconds time has ended. As I told you, we know, now know that the woman is taking X days to complete the job, the man is taking 2X days and the boy is taking 4X days. This we have derived from this efficiency which is already given. Also, it is given that 3 men plus 4 women and 6 boys can together do the job in 7 days which means in 1 day they are going to do 1 seventh of the total job. Now, what is the total job that the women is going to do in one day? So it is going to be 1 upon x. One man in one day, he is going to do 1 upon 2x of the job. One boy in one day, he is going to do 1 upon 4x of the job. So guys, this is the value that I need to put in this particular equation. And please do not put this value x, 2x and 4x. Remember what is represent. This is representing days. And here we have in one day what is the amount of work that is completed. So we have to put the reciprocals of the value. So here I have 3 upon 2x plus 4 upon x plus 6 upon 4x and the whole thing is equal to 1 upon 7. So here the LCM comes out as 4. I have 6 plus 16 plus 6 equal to 4x upon 7. So I get the value of x as 12 plus 16 which comes out as 28 and that is equal to 4x upon 7. So I get the value of x as 49. The value of my x comes out as 49 which means that the woman is taking 49 days. One woman is taking 49 days to complete the job. One man is taking 49 into 2 days to complete the job and one boy is taking 49 into 4 days to complete the job all by himself. Now we have that the woman needs to complete the job in 7 days. So one woman is taking 49 days to complete the job which means that one woman is going to do 1 49th of the job in 1 day. Correct? But here we already have 7, seven days. The job needs to be completed in 7 days. 
So let us assume that we require x women to complete that particular job in 7 days. So I am multiplying my numerator by x and 7 and the job has to be completed in 49 days. So the whole job is completed in 49. So I am equating it to 1. Here I get the value of x as 7 which means that we require 7 women to complete the job in 7 days. So the correct answer here is 7. Instead of x I can very well take w because x is going to increase the complication. We already have x here. It just create confusion. So the correct answer is 7. Let us see the last problem. A 10 hectare field is reaped by 2 men, 3 women and 4 children together in 10 days. If the working capabilities of a man, women and child are in the ratio 5 is to 4 is to 2, then the 16 hectare field will be reaped by 3 men, 4 women and 7 children in how many days? Guys, in this particular problem, use the formula that your work is directly proportional to the number of people working into their efficiencies into the number of days that they are working. So, work has a direct relationship with this, the number of people that are working, the number of days and initially we had the formula, the number of hours they put in, but that can be replaced with efficiency because more the efficient, more is my work going to be done. So, it is direct, direct proportion relationship. Now, you have to take the ratio of W1 which is 10 and W2 which is 16. You already know the number of people that are working, they, their efficiency. So, we have the efficiency of man, women and children as 5x, 4x and 2x. All you need to do is you have to put it in this particular formula and get the answer of the number of days that are going to be required. So this this particular question guys is not going to take 90 seconds but still I am giving you a time of 90 seconds. See to it that you solve it correctly. Your time starts now. Okay people, your time has ended. I know my work is directly proportional to number of people and the product of number of people efficiency and the number of days that they take. So here I have 2 men. So 2 into 5 which comes as 10x plus 3 women. So 3 into 4 I have 12x plus 4 children. So 4 into 2 I have 8x. And all this I have to multiply by the number of days, that is 10 days. Then in the denominator I have 6 men, so I have 30x. Plus I am going to have 4 women, so it comes out as 16x. And plus 7 children, so it comes out as 40x. Multiplied by the number of days, which is d. I am going to rub out the situation once. When I solve it, I get this comes out as the numerator comes out as 30x upon this comes out as 60x. 
इंटू टेन अपॉन डी इज इक्वल टू टेन अपॉन सिक्सटीन सो योर माई टेन टेन गेट्स कैंसिल योर आई गेट एक्स एक्स गेट कैंसिल सो द वैल्यू ऑफ डी कम्स आउट एस सिक्सटीन डिवाइडेड बाई टू विच इज एट सो टोटल दे आर गोइंग टू टेक एट डेज टू रीप अ फील्ड विच इज सिक्सटीन हेक्टर एंड सिक्स मैन फोर वेमेन एंड सेवन चिल्ड्रेन आर वर्किंग टूगेदर सो गाइज आई होप यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू गो अहेड विद दीज काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दिस वर अ बिट डिफिकल्ट लेवल प्रॉब्लम एंड इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट वेजेस एंड एफिशियंसी मोर इन डिटेल इफ इट ऑल यू हैव इंट अंडरस्टूड अ पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम प्लीज गो बैक टू दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम एंड इफ यू स्टिल हैव डाउट्स टू कमेंट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन सो गाइज विद दिस वी आर एंडिंग विद दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर एंडिंग दिस वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच